Uh, good day, everyone. I'm Professor Alfred Ngowi. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research, Innovation and Engagement at the Central University of Technology. The core of the CUT Vision 2020 is that the CUT will be engaged in social and the technological innovations. And taking cue from that, since 2015, we developed what we call CUT strategy for innovation and engagement and entrepreneurship. So this strategy covers all areas where CUT wants to be involved, including staff, students, and the community in order to bring innovation and entrepreneurship to have commercialization. As part of this uh, strategy, we developed what we call CUT innovation ecosystem. And this includes structures like uh, iGym, and the iGym is a place where students and staff and also community bring the ideas they discuss those ideas with the experts in the different areas, and then they are taken to the next step in the ecosystem. And the next step in the ecosystem is what we call Fab Lab. And Fab Lab is where ideas can be made into prototypes. And these are simple prototypes which enable the, idea, the person who has got an idea to test that idea to the market. And if there is a positive response, then it goes to the next level on the ecosystem. And this is called a Product D Development Technology Station. And there you get a better and more sophisticated uh, prototype, which is ready to go to market. And then when it is ready to go to market, you test the market again to make sure now that you have got uh, the right pricing and then the right uh, customer uh, uh, section. And uh, this is also goes hand in hand with another element in the ecosystem. And this is called the uh, Center for Pro uh, Prototype and uh, Manufacturing. And uh, this one is the one where we use 3D printing to make uh, very sophisticated uh, prototypes of various types, which cannot be made in the traditional ways. And this has been uh, a, a very uh, instructive and particularly it has helped us make uh, medical products and all types of products which, we cannot, uh, which cannot be made uh, traditionally. So in the nutshell, that is the ecosystem where you now get a product or a service. But then from there, the other element in the ecosystem is what we call CUT innovation services. And then this is where you have got experts to now carry out a, 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 a further incubation of the idea and the product which was developed to the point now that it can be commercialized. So the QTIS has the ability of linking the person who has got an idea with the financial institutions and the funding agencies like crowdfunding, crowdsourcing and the other means of being able to fund the product which has been generated. So this is the ecosystem which is in place. Hi, I'm Gareth Herika, a student here at the Central University of Technology, currently doing my master's in Industry 4.0 and Smart Manufacturing. My current business is Hydro IT, where we are selling IoT water monitors to local municipalities and private owners to monitor water leaks and reduce them overall. My passion started two years ago when I realised that the people in Cape Town were suffering due to water leaks, that the majority of them were unable to have full access to their water security, and I thought if I could be able to help them in any way, especially through my studies and university. We are targeting local municipalities and large private enterprises such as mines, hotels and household land in order to greatly reduce the impact of water leaks. Studying while running my own business has been a challenge at most, there are times when I don't know if I can actually balance both of them, but I'm sure with the resources available on my campus, it's actually made it a lot easier to cope. When I first started off as an engineer, I knew nothing about businesses. But thankfully, with the idea gym, they were able to give me the necessary tools and training in order to actually start my own business and run it successfully. 
We hope to launch our first municipal sale with our IoT water monitors in order to, great, to reduce the water impacts in our, in our country. I won the 2019 Idea Germ Innovation Challenge as well as the 2020 Idea Germ Innovation Challenge where part of my prize was to visit the Slush Festival in Helsinki, Finland. I also received uh, entrepreneurship and business training in terms of finance and business mentoring both in Finland and at the Idea Gym. I'm also a regional winner of the EDHE uh, business intervarsity competition in the tech category and will be representing CT in the finals at uh, Johannesburg in November. I'm also a finalist in the Boost Up Scale Up competition hosted by the SA Innovation Summit where I was able to present my business in the Africa Cup 2020. Hi, I'm given the name Taylor Matlala and I'm studying at CUT Mechanical Engineering. Hi, my name is Masoho and I'm a first year student at Central University of Technology. I'm studying Mechanical Engineering. Hi, my name is Basitana. I'm a first year student at Central University of Technology studying Mechanical Engineering. Hi, we are Nzanzi Connect. Nzanzi Connect is an upcoming app that will be bridging the gap between small businesses and big businesses, especially small businesses in the township. This passion for Mzanzi Connect particularly started during lockdown because we saw an advert online that we, we are able to participate in the innovation challenge and we decided to put our heads together and develop this app or come up with this idea basically. Our main target market is the small businesses in the townships as well as artisans and individual, individual artisans in the townships but we are open to big businesses in the urban area as well. Studying and running a business at the same time is not easy, especially for us since we're starting off. So it's a bit tricky, you know, balancing our books as well as the meetings, the business meetings, the, the people that we have to meet up with to develop the app. But we are doing our best to manage our time. We are there for each other. And I think that's what helps us going. CUT has been a great help, especially with the facilities and the people that they offer to us. We are getting guidance in terms of how we, are, we should go about in terms of the business, as well as mentorship from Dr. Conradi in terms of how big we want to go with the business. Because we, we had actually a very small idea and she just expanded it and opened our eyes to see that we actually can go bigger than we thought. Our next steps from here, we are planning to develop the app, but we're starting off with the website application and thereafter we will see how it goes and then go into the actual app itself. If you are an aspiring uh, student entrepreneur out there, I would like to say to you, keep pushing and I'd like to say to you, connect yourself, network. Don't hold yourself back because you never know who you are talking to. You never know who's listening. So get yourself out there and expose yourself. My name is Tepo Maklagato and I'm studying Electrical Engineering at CUT. Hi, my name is Tepo Makhadi. I'm studying Electrical Engineering at CUT. Hello, my name is Tawa Mokotu and I'm studying Electrical Engineering at Central University of Technology. Hi, we are the Intellectual Revolutions of Engineers. Uh, basically our business is about uh, a greenhouse. We build and then we offer uh, services uh, in the section of uh, greenhouse gas, uh, greenhouses. Uh, the passion started when we were doing Mathematics 3, when we, uh, we were given a task to, uh, to kind of uh, reduce the, uh, the population of plastic bottles in our locations. Then we came up with the idea of constructing a greenhouse and then the passion started there. Our target market are people who are doing, uh, who have garden at homes and then commercial farms. Uh, since we are kind of starting, uh, right now it's a bit uh, difficult to manage, but uh, we are coping. Uh, we noticed the uh, iGym compet co uh, competition where students come and then uh, present their innovations and then they compete. In this innovation, we go to workshops and then they teach us how to present our businesses and all that stuff. So it really helped us really to pick up in our uh, road of entrepreneurial. Uh, from here, we want to see ourselves uh, having our own uh, building 
where we do our service, we render our services, we build and then we have uh, customers from all over the country. To all the young entrepreneurs out there, uh, if you have an idea, just believe in it. One day it will come into an existence and if you need any assistance in that, come to the iGym team, they will help you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jensen and I'm currently studying my third year in quantity surveying at CUT. My name is Blessing Go and I'm doing my second year in education at the Central University of Technology. Hello, my name is Beloved Ngo and I'm recently completed my BA degree in Geography and Sociology. Hi everyone, we are The Body Cycle. We are a company that primarily focuses on community upliftment and we will be assisting waste pickers in the recycling business. Our target market are the waste pickers in the recycling business. We are still at the product development stage where we are trying to build the prototype and test it and see how the market receives it. CUT introduced us to the Idea Gym and the Innovation Challenge, which we won 25,000. With that 25,000, we plan to invest the money so that the business may grow. Our next step is to collaborate with the Idea Gym so that they may assist us with our business. What I would say to a young entrepreneur, I would say they should believe in themselves, but most importantly, to pray about it. <laughs>